Hi, this is Mrs. Renfro. Welcome to our voice thread. My seventh grade class made this voice thread to help people know how to create strong passwords. I'm very proud of the work that they've done. Please feel free to comment and let them have some feedback from you. Thank you and enjoy. Hi, my name is Peter. Welcome to the PHS Password Protection Voice Thread. This voice thread will teach you how to make strong passwords so you can keep your private information safe. Only your parents should know your password. Hi, my name is Lexi. I'm going to talk about the first tip regarding passwords. Only your parents should know your passwords because they are people that you should trust. They care about you so they would never do anything to your files without your permission. If your parents had a problem with anything in your files, I'm sure they would ask you if there was a problem. If there was an, ever an emergency and the information that they needed was in your file, they can get it and that's why they need your password. You shouldn't tell your friends your password because I did that once. My friend and I didn't turn out to be good friends. She went into my files and erased everything I saved for school. That was a bad idea. If this happened to you, you would know how it feels. Only your parents should know your password. Hi, my name is Nick and I'm going to tell you about no tip number two. Tip two says to not tell anybody your password. If you tell anybody your password, you can get yourself in trouble. You'll get yourself in trouble because the person you told your password to can do stuff in your profile and write stuff to other people and they will think it is you. Hey, it's Cam and Avery talking about password safety. Hey, that rhymes. Anyway, don't use passwords that are easy to guess, like your name or your pet's name. That's right, you should always come up with more complicated and harder passwords. Like. N A dollar dollar one three six four instead of N B A All Star. Right, Cam? Right, Avery. This is Ryan, and I'm going to tell you about tip number four, which says not to use private information in your password. You don't want to use any private information in your password because someone that knows you could easily guess it and get into your stuff on the computer. They could file cake and also mess with them. If someone finds out your password, they might even try to use it online somewhere. Hi, my name is Courtney. I'm going to tell you a little bit about tip number five. Don't use a word from the dictionary as a password. Don't get your password from the dictionary because it would be easy to find out. Keep your password safe and no one will find it out. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm going to tell you about tip number six. If you have a password with less than eight characters, it could be easy to guess. If someone figures out the pa your password, they could give your computer a virus, delete your files, or even lock you out of your own computer. With stronger passwords of at least eight characters, you can better protect your computer. Hi, I'm Alexis, and I'm going to tell you about tip number seven. When making a password, always remember to use letters, numbers, and symbols. If you don't, it will be easy f easier for people to guess your password. I wrote down some good and bad examples of passwords. Notice that the good examples of passwords have letters, numbers, and symbols, but don't use real names or words. The bad examples only use letters or a few numbers. Using letters, numbers, and symbols may make it harder for you to remember your password. That's why you should still use names, numbers, and symbols that apply to you in some way. Just using random numbers and symbols will make a password stronger, but it will be very hard to remember. This is Cameron. And Brett again, and we are going to tell you about tip number eight, which is to change your password regularly at least every six months. You change your password because people can get into your computer and delete or steal any important information you have saved. It is important to change your password every six months because if you don't, it gives computer hackers more time to figure out your password. Hi.
Hi, my name is Justin. Our computer applications class would like to thank you for listening to our presentation on strong passwords. I hope you learned how to keep your personal information safe.